What's up guys, my name's Dastaros, and today is the first episode in a long lineup of add-on tutorial videos. The next few episodes are going to be focusing on weak auras specifically, then we will branch out to some other add-ons that I use on a daily basis. First up is weak auras, of course, so let's get right into it. So, weak auras is a very comprehensive add-on. Uh, it started out back in about Missa Pandaria Lake Cataclysm as more or less just solely focused on ability buffs and debuffs and ability cooldowns and has since blown up into a comprehensive add-on to the point where you can make almost an entire UI solely with this single add-on if you really wanted to. <clears throat> Today, however, we are just focusing on the most basic portion of this UI and kind of taking it right back to the beginning we are focusing on how to set up a buff or a debuff as an icon style aura. So let's get started. We're going to open up weak auras with slash WA. You see I already have a test weak aura here, but we'll delete this and make another one. So you'll be sent to this screen here. This is a blank screen. All right, all we're gonna do is go to new aura up in the top left, then click on icon, and this will populate a new icon weak aura. We're going to call this test. Okay. Now it's going to take you to the trigger page by default here. And this is the main one we need to worry about at the moment. So we're going to do a buff today. You can also do debuffs and plenty of other things. We're going to do berserking the troll racial. Okay. So all we're going to do is make sure that unit is selected as player because we want this to show when our selves get the buff. And then we want it to show as a buff because Berserking is a buff. Now all we do is we go click on names and we add the buff. Berserking. If I can spell correctly that is. And there we go. Now we have the Berserking icon you'll see has auto populated into the uh, previous question mark week aura here. Now there's two things we want to really make sure that are correct on this aura before we move to display. We need to make sure own only is either checked or unchecked depending on the weak aura. If you want only your casted buff or debuff to be shown, you would click own only. If you want only somebody else's to be shown, you would click twice to hit not on own only. And if you wanted either, you would just leave it blank. Then you want to make sure that your show on drop down is correct. If you want it to show when an aura is up on your character or a target that you have chosen, you would click Auras Found as the default. And if you wanted it to only show when that aura was missing on player or target, you would click Auras Missing. And you see it kind of collapses a whole bunch of the different options here. We want Auras Found. Now there's about two more options we're going to get into today. I'm going to do an entire video specifically on the display tab and all the other tabs that you can see here but for now we're just going to worry about show cooldown and our text so show cooldown all we do is it shows the cooldown swipe and if you have an add-on like omni cc it will show the cooldown timer the numbers as well if you do not have that or you don't want the cooldown swipe to show you can simply go down here to the text you see the its base at Percentage S, that is for stacks. So if you had an aura like Backdraft for Warlocks, can have multiple stacks of the same buff, you would leave it there so it showed you how many stacks you had. For an aura like Berserking, there is no stacks. So we could simply change this to Percentage P. It would show progress for the progress of the aura. And now when we go to cast the aura, it will show that. So all we're going to do here is actually do both. So you can see both at the same time. It's going to look a little crowded, but this is just for testing purposes. Now we're going to simply exit out of weak auras, and we'll just hit my keybind for Berserking, and there we go. We see Berserking with the cooldown swipe and cooldown timer, as well as the timer on the bottom right. In a future video, we will go into a comprehensive list of all of the display options. The next video coming up is going to be how to make a icon type aura as a cooldown or uh, for an item or an ability. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.